So I just arrived in Cusco. I feel like someone's staring at me while I'm recording. So I feel really weird right now. But I just arrived in Cusco. Um, I'm here by myself alone. So Jana left to go to Lima. And right now I'm just going to go to all the tour agencies. I'm gonna try look for the soul mine tour today. Tomorrow I'm gonna try do go to Pizak, try do some like spiritual events. And then Wednesday I'm, or Wednesday, well, the day after, I'm gonna be going to the Seven Lakes tour, I think. So I'm just gonna sort out all the tours right now. I'm in Wild Rover Hostel, which is known to be like a party hostel. So I'm gonna be getting a good night's sleep tonight, but yeah. So it'll be exciting. Cusco is amazing. It is so beautiful. So my first stop on the journey was the Marais Ruins, a mystery displaying huge stone depressions, which may have acted as an Incan agriculture experiment. We traveled here on quad bikes along the Sacred Valley, which is near Cusco. However, I have to warn you to be careful on these bikes because I did flip my whole bike over and nearly died. Anyways, we visited the Marais Salt Mines as it is one of the largest salt extraction centers containing thousands of shallow pools dating back to the Incan times. I would definitely recommend traveling here. I don't know why the dogs all here look like the <laughs> Why do they all like... <laughs> So it is my second day in um, Cusco and basically I didn't vlog much of last night. Um, it got pretty crazy. I sort of, um, we came back from the ATVs, the quad bikes. We finished that and it took us like two hours to get back to the city because there was really bad traffic and there were landslides and things like that. Um, then I went to the bar um, at Wild River Hostel. Really fun. Sorry, change of position because I got really tired walking up the hill um, because of the altitude. So this morning I had to run some errands. Um, what I do is I basically go to like the local agencies and they'll see you with like pamphlets. They'll bargain you with a really good price. And all the agencies sort of book through really similar companies. So they're really trustworthy. I had to rent my hiking boots because I don't have hiking boots. And they're like eight soles each per day. But yeah, so after that, I got some um, vegetarian um, breakfast, something really light. And there's a lot of, surprisingly, a lot of vegan and vegetarian options in Cusco. Um, and then I got a bus to Pizak. Bus was like eight souls uh, or five souls, um, really cheap. It's like a, about a 45 to one hour minute, a one hour ride. And then, so I'm in Pizak right now. I just went market shopping. I bought a lot of stuff because um, everyone was just trying to pull me in and like bargain with me and trying to get me to get ponchos. I'll show you what I got for ponchos and things like that because it's pretty exciting. It's really nice. Um, and right now I'm just going to be exploring Pizak. It's such a really spiritual, really calm um, community here. And the landscape, of course, is amazing. You've just got mountains everywhere. Right now I'm about to um, walk up the hill to I think a archaeological site um, and basically you have to buy like a ticket and it covers like a lot of archaeological sites um, like different like Pizak, um, Marais ruins, the tickets like 70 souls I think but this is the place I'm going to I think my ticket covers this. Here we go. I thought it was a dog and then I'm like, that does not look like a dog. <laughs> it's like, that's a sheep. <laughs> what the hell? 
So after traveling up a hiking trail and then hopping on a taxi, which is quite a common way to visit this Inca site, we finally arrived. And it is named one of the jewels of the sacred valley of the Incas with temples and palaces carved finely in stone. So these ruins are basically constructed along a mountain ridge with just breathtaking views of the valleys below. And with this strategic location, it is thought that the Inca sediment possibly guarded this south entrance to the sacred valley. So the ruins include a military zone, a living sector for the inhabitants, a ceremonial center, including a sun temple and an agricultural area. Pizak is also known to have one of the largest Inca cemeteries. The holes in the mountains are basically where the bodies are buried. And the ruins sit at 9,751 feet, so 2,972 meters above sea level. I would definitely recommend traveling here to really get an insight of the construction and the agriculture that existed centuries ago. So far Cusco is amazing. Traveling alone is like the best feeling. You don't have to sort of depend on anyone, um, rely on anyone, and you have so much freedom. You meet so many more people, um, and you just have the most random and funnest nights. So we're at um, a vegan restaurant right now called Green Point and our food just arrived and it looks amazing. We've got shared food and we've got what's this? Bruschetta? Uh, yeah, so we have bruschetta there, we have samosas, some tacos, some tacos and, and, and nachos. Yay. Hey guys, so I'm just hiding here to vlog because um, I'm with a tour right now and I'm doing the Humante um, full day trek so it's like a two hour trek to the most beautiful like blue lake um we've just had breakfast we got on a bus um to the breakfast place we just had simple bread butter it's a third day and so far it's been great i have not slept at all i went to the bar last night so yeah um that's a problem but that should be fine i'm very excited i'll vlog the whole hike and the bus tour and how the tour is there's a lot of people on this tour which is good but also a lot of people can speak spanish and i can't but it's an english guide as well so which is good but yeah so these are the houses that um people in the like the salente or salentai trek will stay at the five day four day trek so yeah they usually pass this area too So I made it to Hinante Lake. Oh, right, so where are we right now? I'm vlogging. Humanity Lake. It's not hum what the f <laughs> humanity. What is it? Humanity Lake. That's the most Australian thing I've heard. Pretty fucking humanity close. Lake. <laughs> we're, we're we're in Uluru. No, we're in. It's called Umante, right? Umante Lake. I believe so. Yeah. In the trek here. Oh, you memorize that? Puma, here well, no? Puma, young water is a sky. Condor. Sky, condor. Oh! The snake is a, like a bell on wall. Yeah. Okay, three walls. Uh, and then the Incas are faced for the mountains. For example, no? Oh! Coca, este, Apu, Apu Manta, Apu Salcanta, Apu ah. Alfangate, different mountains in Cusco, France. Yeah. It's a teacher dream, yeah? No face for the mountains, for the sun. Yeah. Mm, apples. Uh, after for the Pachamama. Yeah. Eat for the Pachamama. Yeah. Eat, Offering. Eat a friend, no? Yeah. Eat after drink. Dying. Ah, I see. Now, behind the mountain, yeah, there are jungle. Yeah. Really? A jungle behind the mountain? Behind the mountain. Okay. Jungle. Yeah, you working for Salcantay. Yes. Now, the color is too Yeah. Turquoise, yes, turquoise, turquoise color. Yeah, because yeah, there are uh, snow, you know, down the water natural. Yeah, the water is natural. But now the color, the color, mm -hmm. yeah, because 
the sun. Yeah, the sun. The sun. Yeah. Reflecting on the water, and on the water, our eyes, you can see the color turquoise. The color is natural. Oh, because the sun reflects it. Reflects. Uh, there are more sun. The color is more turquoise. Okay. Uh, close your eyes for two minutes. Yeah, uh, relax. Oh, okay. Uh, close to us, together. Almost, yes, yeah? okay. Okay, so now we're going back down. And the trek isn't that hard at all. It's basically just the altitude sort of dizziness and the mild headaches um, that gets you. Like, the trek is just quite steep, so you're really sort of racing against gravity. Um, but other than that, the trek's pretty fine and you get the most amazing view. Um, and then our tour guide also explained the construction of it and the spiritual aspect of Pachamama and um, the rocks and things like that and the coca leaves. Yeah, really beautiful in real life. Like, cameras cannot capture the experience. So I'm just walking down the trek right now from um, Umante Lake and everything here is like just so beautiful also the trek down is so much more easier like um there's the wind like wind the wind sort of blows upwards so it's more of a cooler weather whereas when you're trekking upwards there's no wind at all so it's pretty like you know you get pretty sweaty and heated easily but you know obviously when you're going down it's going to be much more easier um everything here there's like horses just the mountains the different biodiversity and the different climates so like you know you've got like snow in one mountain and you've got like um grass and it's really sunny on another mountain it's amazing here but yeah i would definitely recommend everyone to do the lake um and it's not even a hit or miss like it's just beautiful the whole trek and it's not that hard the trek as well